it back to Mary and welcome back to my channel. For today's video guys, pag-uusapan na natin ng mas maayos, mas malinaw yung bagong smartphone ng Huawei. So yes guys, ito na yung ating review ng Huawei Nova 7 5G. Actually guys, unahin na natin agad pag-usapan yung kanyang 5G. Alam nyo ba guys, um, trivia lang po, itong Huawei Nova 7 5G, ito yung pangalawa sa pinakamura na mid-range device ngayon sa market na mabibili nyo na 5G ready na. Yung pinakamura actually is also from Huawei and that is the Huawei Nova 7 SE 5G. So kung mapapansin nyo guys, ang Huawei talaga ang leading when it comes to providing 5G here sa Philippines. I mean, there are other brands naman guys na nagpo-provide ng 5G but mostly to their flagship devices. Ngayon guys, explain ko lang po kung ano bang importance ng smartphone ng naka 5G ready na. Unang-una guys, kung ang smartphone mo ay 5G ready na nga, hindi mo na kailangan magpalit pa ng contact number or your SIM card para lang ma-upgrade nyo yung network nyo to 5G. And ang sabi din guys nila ha, ito ang sabi-sabi no, na malapit nang dumating ang 5G dito sa atin sa Philippines. Um, it's either kalagitnaan ng 2020 or bandang dulo ng 2020. I mean, I've tried it already guys on Huawei's flagship device in Makati. And yung download speed niya guys, yung upload speed niya talagang napakabilis. Talaga. Talagang talaga. <laughs> talagang well, sinabi yun talaga, no? So yes, ganun siya kabilis. So next guys, let's talk about the design. Is it something new and hindi ba siya kaparehas lang Mary ng Huawei Nova 7 SE? Well, to tell you guys, ibang-iba po yung pagka-space silver nitong Huawei Nova 7 sa Huawei Nova 7 SE. Parehas pong space silver yung pangalan. Uulitin ko, pero magkaibang magkaiba po sila. Well, yung sa Huawei Nova 7 7 SE kasi guys, mas pink yung hue niya. And kung makikita nyo naman ngayon guys, yung Huawei Nova 7 medyo wala ka talaga makikita ng shade of pink as in more of silver talaga siya at medyo nahihirapan kami guys ni Jason na i-video or i-b-roll nga itong smartphone na to dahil sobrang reflective niya talaga. Ang hirap i-focus ng camera sa kanya. But other than that guys, kung makikita niyo siya in person talaga, you will see ng mas maayos yung kanyang 3D curved glass. Kaya mas naging premium talaga siya. And again guys, meron nga po siyang 7.9mm thickness and it weighs 180 grams. In terms of weight, sakto lang naman guys, ito yung madalas na weight ng mga mid-range devices na nare-review ko ngayon. So, it's not too heavy, it's not too light. Making it more comfortable na hawakan. Actually guys, yung isa pang kulay na tong Space Silver, again, yun yung mid-summer purple. Napakaganda din nun. So, in terms of the camera setup guys, and for my overall opinion about the Huawei Nova 7 5G, to me, yung camera setup niya, and of course, the prism effect, madalas naman na natin tong nakakita sa mga mid-range devices. Ngayon, but, you know, still, the design is very eye-catchy. It looks and feels very premium. And actually, mapagkakamalan ko nga siyang part ng P-series ng Huawei. Now, pag-usapan natin yung display. Meron siyang 6.53 inches, 2400 by 1080 pixels, Full HD plus OLED display. Meron din po siyang 20 is to 9 aspect ratio with DCI P3 color gamot. As expected guys from OLED displays, ibang iba yung kanyang display from the Huawei Nova 7 SE kung pagtatabihin pa natin. And for my experience, very vivid yung colors niya, vibrant, and talagang angat na angat yung blacks niya. So, Again guys, nakaka-spoil talaga sa mata kapag OLED display. Masarap sa pakiramdam at alam niyo yun, talagang naramdaman ko yung pagbabago. <laughs> sa lahat, di ba? Nararamdaman yung pagbabago. Anyway, meron din po siyang always on display support. Kung saan ipapakita niya yung time, date, yung mga incoming calls and messages. At ang maganda pa dito guys, safe naman siya gamitin para sa mga mata niyo. Kasi nga nakapasa siya sa TUV Rainland Full Care Display Certification. So, mas comfortable talaga talaga yung viewing experience. Also guys, save lang din kung medyo natitipid na kayo sa battery at nasa labas kayo, pwede nyong palitan yung kanyang screen resolution. Teka, masyadong mataas yung brightness natin, no? Ayan. Pwede natin palitan yung ating screen resolution from 1080p na naka-high to 
720p. Pasensya na guys. So, pwede nyo yung i-manual. Pwede nyo i-set up kung 720p nga lang or 1080p. Pwede rin namang naka-smart resolution. Automatically niya ilo-lower yung screen resolution nyo para makapag-save ng mas maraming power. Also, you can change the color mode and temperature guys sa settings ng naka-normal or vivid. At syempre guys, kung sanay kayo sa Huawei Nova 7i nyo or sa Huawei Nova 7SE na naka-side-mounted fingerprint sensor, dito po, since naka-OLED na nga tayo, in-display fingerprint sensor na. And again, uulitin ko po, mabilis and accurate naman siya, although hindi ko lang nagustuhan yung positioning niya dahil masyado nga mababa. But you know, this is just me nitpicking. Next guys, pag-usapan natin yung set of cameras na meron itong Huawei Nova 7 5G. Uulitin ko guys, meron siyang 32 2 megapixels front camera. Meron siyang f2.0 aperture with AI beautification support and it can shoot 4K videos at 30 fps. Take note guys, meron na siyang EIS. Making it quite a big deal guys, especially for vloggers or content creators kasi nga mas Alam niyo, madalas natin ginagamit yung front camera for vlogging. So, kung may EIS na yan, expect it to be more stabilized. Now, yung front camera niya, guys, meron siyang Super Night Selfie 3.0. So, kahit nasa gabi, magla-level up talaga yung selfie photos niya. Kung makikita niya naman sa sample photos natin, the Huawei Nova 7 5G was able to capture detail and colors. Also, guys, pansin ko, mas less than yung noise. And yun, nakita natin, guys, na dual view sa Huawei Nova 7 SE na talagang nag <laughs> kasi first time ko siyang nakita doon. Meron din itong Huawei Nova 7. So, hindi naman siya nawala, guys. Thank goodness. For the quad camera setup, guys, meron siyang 64 megapixels for the main camera, 8 megapixels telephoto lens, 8 megapixels ultra wide, and 2 megapixels macro lens. Itong Huawei Nova 7 5G, guys, it can shoot up to 5 times hybrid zoom and 20 times digital zoom. So, mas may access tayo, guys, especially sa mga malalayong scenes. And I noticed, guys, na yung AI niya, it works very well with the powerful zoom. Actually, guys, for the ultra wide angle lens, it can shoot 120 degrees. I can say, guys, for the ultra wide, hindi siya ganon ka wide go compare natin sa ibang mid range devices. But at least na maintain naman yung detail and color na alam yun, kahit papano, nakita natin doon sa kanyang 64 megapixels main camera. Yung macro lens naman niya, guys, kaya niya mag achieve up to 4 cm up close. It's good that we have the macro lens but until now guys, hindi pa rin ako fan nito at hindi ko pa rin siya masyadong nagagamit. Now, for the super night mode na meron itong Huawei Nova 7 5G, it really takes outstanding night shots kahit na wala pang tripod guys. Now, for the operating system guys, ano, meron siyang EMUI 10.1 based on Android 10. Una-una, meron po siyang system-wide dark mode. Mas maganda siya actually na gamitin sa mga OLED or AMOLED displays. Katulad nga nito. Because you know, OLED has deeper blacks. Pangalawa guys, may option naman kayo kung gusto nyong lagyan ng app drawer yung Huawei Nova 7 5G nyo or hindi. Also guys, kung hindi nyo naman din gusto yung kanyang punch hole, you can always hide it. Or alam nyo yun, just to show it ako naman, sanay na ako dahil mostly lahat ng smartphones ngayon ay naka-punch hole na. Just like how I got over the notch last year. Meron din siya ang tinatawag na smart sidebar. Kung saan pwede mo siyang i-access sa kanan or sa kaliwa. Na kung saan guys, pwede natin gawin yung dual screen. We can multitask, mas maayos, mas mapapabilis dahil pwede mo rin i-customize itong sidebar na ito. You can add apps that you usually use. Definitely what I was waiting for for the EMUI na magkaroon last year. Ngayon guys, hindi ko na-discuss ng mas maayos kung paano nga ba ako nakakuha ng applications dito sa Huawei Nova 7 5G ko. Ngayon, meron akong tatlong ways kung paano ko yan ginawa. Unang-una, syempre, sa so Huawei's very own app gallery. Alam nyo ba guys, ngayon na yung app gallery, pangatlo siya sa pinakamalaking app stores. O, di ba? Akalaan nyo yun, bago lang siya. Um, Magbo one year pa lang siya, no? Tapos nakarating na siya agad sa pangatlo. And with that, na-observe ko lang, ganun pala talaga kaseryoso ang Huawei when it comes to improving yung sources ng mga applications nyo. At yung mga top applications, guys, na makikita nyo sa app App Gallery. For the game, meron na siyang Garena Free Fire, Naruto, Asphalt 9, and Plants vs. Zombies. Para naman sa photography, meron tayong Camera 360, Photograd, Pixart, and Beauty Plus. 
For finance, we have GCash, My Home Credit, Globe Rewards, PayMaya, BDO, and Cashalo. For communication, guys, meron po tayong Viber, WeChat, and yung ibang usable apps, guys, na pwede rin i-download dito ay Facebook, Instagram, Facebook Lite, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. So, ang tanong, Mary, kung bago ka dito sa channel ko at bago mo papanoorin nitong video ko, paano namin ma-access yung aming email, Gmail, or even YouTube? For YouTube, guys, again, i-clear ko, me YouTube po sa Huawei Nova 7 5G and the rest of the Huawei smartphones. Wala nga lang siyang sariling application. For you to access it, pupunta kayo sa browser. Gumagawa na lang po ako ng shortcut para mapunta siya sa home screen ko para mas mabilis. Sunod for my Gmail, Mary. Well, meron naman ng built-in mail app dito sa Huawei Nova 7 5G na kung saan nandito yung Yahoo, Gmail, tapos doon mo na siya i-access. Meron din naman siyang Netflix, guys, and other applications kung hindi nyo man siya makita sa app gallery dahil download nyo yan sa mga third-party APK websites, katulad po ng APK Pure. Doon ko din na-download yung mga apps na hindi ko mahanap sa app gallery, katulad ng Instagram, Facebook, Netflix, at marami pang ibang Apps. Ngayon, kamusta naman yung sa Petal Search Widget? Ito yung pangatlong week ko, guys, kung paano ako naglalagay ng apps sa mga Huawei smartphones ko. Petal Search Widget, guys, napakadali lang, no? So, pupunta lang tayo sa App Gallery, tapos, sa search natin dito yung Petal Search Widget. Ayan, nakikita nyo naman dito sa ating screen. And then, once you downloaded the Petal Search Widget, punta kayo naman sa Home Screen. And then, Customize nyo na, ilagay nyo na yung Petal Search Widget sa pinaka-home nyo para mas accessible. Pwede nyo nang i-search dito yung mga hinahanap nyo, almost everything actually. Nandi. Actually, you can find everything here, katulad ng apps, news, images, and many more. Ngayon, alam kong interested kayo, Mary, kamusta naman ang gaming dyan sa Huawei Nova 7? 5G dahil hindi mo yan din discuss sa unboxing mo. So, ayun guys, meron siyang high silicon cream 985 5G SoC with Mali G77. Meron din po siyang 8GB of RAM with 256GB of internal storage. Actually guys, kung i-compare natin yung chipset nito kaysa sa Huawei Nova 5T since ito yung madalas natin pinagmamalaki, di ba? Dahil ito nga yung flagship killer ng Huawei. Sa totoo na guys, mas mataas po ang chipset nitong Huawei Nova 7 5G kaysa sa Huawei Nova 5T. Kaya rin naman, mataas yung naging resulta nito sa Antutu. Mapa performance mode off or performance mode on. For my gaming experience guys, masasabi ko okay siya smooth as expected from a Kirin 985 chipset. Actually, first time nila tong ginamit dito sa smartphone na ito. Wala rin ako na-experience na frame drops masyado. Actually, bihirang bihira lang. Isa pa, masarap din yung gaming experience ko dahil nga doon sa kanyang OLED display. Something na hindi ko masyadong na-enjoy sa mga Huawei Nova brothers or little brothers nitong Huawei Nova 7. Lastly, guys, for the battery capacity and charging, again, meron siyang 40 watt Huawei Supercharge with 4,000 mAh battery capacity. I mean, ito yung madalas na nakukuha natin sa mga Huawei mid-range devices, no? 4,000 mAh battery capacity. Hindi na ako magreklamo, pero hindi naman ako sobrang impressed. Saktong-sakto lang siya sa kung anong merong specs itong Huawei Nova 7 5G. But, one thing that I am really impressed sa Huawei guys na never nilang binabago sa mga mid-range devices nila ay eh, yung kanyang Huawei or yung 40 watt Huawei Supercharge. Something that sa ibang brands guys, madalas nilalagay lang nila to sa flagship nila. But with Huawei, I'm glad that nilalagay nila to sa mga mid-range devices din nila. Actually guys, in just 30 minutes, I was able to consume 78% of battery charge. So, ganun siya kabilis. Kung medyo nagmamadali pa kayo, you are already good to go dahil nga may 78% ka na. So, overall guys, yung kanyang 4,000 mAh battery, masasatisfy naman niya yung mga daily needs niyo from social media to video playback to gaming all day. Also guys, bago ko makalimutan, from 128GB from the Huawei Nova 7 SE, 
to 256 gig of internal storage. So, dumoble. Although, hindi na po siya expandable storage via micro SD card, kahit na po NM card pa yan. Pero sa tingin ko naman, guys, enough na yung 256 gig para sa mga photos and videos natin. So, uulitin ko, guys, the price is 23,990 pesos. Sige, unahin natin sa display, guys. Actually, I feel like I'm holding a flagship device dahil napakaganda talaga ng OLED display nitong Huawei Nova 7 5G. Tapos, meron pa siyang curved glass back. It makes it more comfortable to hold. Gaming-wise, guys, wala akong naging problema. The Huawei Nova 7 5G could really handle your high-graphic-intensive games kahit na heavy multitasking pa. And again, 5G ready. Yun yung importante din kasi dito, guys. For 23,990 pesos, it's still cheap for a smartphone na naka 5G ready na. Sumunod yung kanyang 40 watt Huawei Supercharge. Definitely, it will not disappoint you. Now, para naman sa cons niya, dalawa lang naman. Again, wala nga siyang headphone jack that some people might find it disappointing because of its price range. Madalas naman ang mga smartphones na 23,000 naka headphone jack pa rin. Pero isipin na lang natin, may kasama naman siyang dongle sa box. Pangalawa, it's not expandable storage, which is for me, again, it's not disappointing, but to some, it might be. So yes, guys, para sa akin, for 23,990 pesos, you are really getting what you paid for. From its appearance to the quality. So para sa akin, guys, it is an overall package already. Siguro mas magiging perfect to lalo, no? Kung naka 90Hz screen refresh rate siya. Anyway, that is it for now, guys, for my Huawei Nova 7 5G review. Again, it's your Tiger Mary, and see you on my next video. Bye, guys!